But the opening of the seven seals in Revelations 10 and the full word being born into a manifestation again, and it was vindicated by the Spirit of God in its full strength here upon the earth, manifested here in the same way, it's doing the same things here on earth. You see it, it's Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do you see it? That's my question, have you seen it? Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever, fully manifested. Manifested is to be made flesh. God veiled in human flesh again, discerning the thoughts and the intents of your own heart. I had a conversation with a brother a while ago, about a month ago, when Brother Jean Kadima, and I told him, in my heart, it's burning. I says, it's like, I, I just, Abba, Father, Abba, Father, I, I want to preach on it. And then we got to talk, and we talked for an hour, almost an entire hour, and just sharing what, what was stirring in my heart. Brother Jean Kadima comes up that night, and his opening scripture is Galatians 4, an Abba, Father, and he preaches everything we talk about that morning. Who is this in our midst? Is, what is going on? Do you notice it's not a public show? Do you notice how calm and quiet these things are? Do you notice there's not a lot of screaming and shouting and the public running in to see something? But it's still Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever, discerning and identifying what you're talking about in your home, what you have a cup of coffee with the brother over on this side. Who is this in our midst? But see, it's just as calm and settled as can be. Will the bride have a great ministry? Yes, but it'll be so humble. It'll be so humble, people won't even realize it. It won't be screaming and shouting in the public coming from all places to see a skeptical or a spectacle. Nope. You know, after the resurrection, when Jesus came back on the scene, he went to people privately. If what a resurrection that was, what a resurrection this is, where God himself is individually coming to you, meeting you when you're discouraged out like Peter fishing by the seashore. He comes to you in your place of discouragement and begins to talk to you, and you read this in the Bible, and then the brother says this to you when you call him, and then the minister preaches on the same thing that you have need of that day. Who is this? Is this the mighty God unveiled? It is the mighty God unveiled. He's here. He's doing the same things that he did then. Doesn't that declare him to be the same yesterday, today, and forever? He is. He's here. But see how quiet and personal and private it is now? It's in silence. Not a lot of screaming, shouting, and gathering everybody in. No. He's meeting you quietly in the secret of your own prayer life, of your own devotion, and walk with him. He comes to you here. He comes to you here. He comes to you here. So shocking now. But see, so humble. 